Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to um, give a few examples related on uh, operations with matrices. And uh, we're going to start off with the first example. Let's say we have all these uh, matrices given here. A, B, C, D, E and F. And uh, we have a few operations uh, that are asked here. But I think uh, maybe I shall just focus on uh, this question here on how you can compute um, B transpose C transpose minus C B transpose. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do um, as our first example here. So here are the operations that you are asked to find is uh, what's the result of having B transpose C transpose minus CB and you transpose it. Okay, so um, let's start off with um, finding what is B transpose multiplied with C transpose. Okay, I'm mm, oh, sorry. So here we have B transpose C transpose is going to be this matrix. Um, okay, so first of all, the matrix here is B is 4, negative 2, 1, 0, 2, 3. And matrix C is a 3 by 2 matrix, 2, 4, 6. Okay. So, um, B transpose is a very easy. Basically, you're going to let this row here becomes the first column. So, here we have 4, negative 2, 1. And then the second column here becomes, sorry, the second row here becomes the second column. So, 0, 2, 3. That is B transpose. Next, you're going to multiply that with C transpose. So again, if you uh, have this matrix C, so here we have to change the first row into the first column. So here we've got 1 and 2. Next, so here we got 3 and 4. And the last row here becomes the last column, 5 and 6. And you can clearly see that this is a 3 by 2 matrix and this is a 2 by 2 three matrix. Therefore, the result of multiplying uh, these two matrices are going to be a 3 by 3 matrix, okay? So here is a 3 by 3 matrix. Well, uh, 4 times 1 plus 0 times 2. So you will get 4. Next, 4 times 3 is 12. This one, so 4, 12 plus 0. So this is 12. Next, 4 times 5, 20. So that is 20. Yeah? 20 plus 0. Okay. Next, negative 2 times 1. So negative 2 plus 4 is going to be 2. Negative 6 um, plus 8. So it's going to be 2. Negative 10 plus 12 is going to be 2. So the last one here is 1 plus 6 is 7, 3 plus 12 is 15, and 5 plus 18. So 5 plus 18 is 23. So this is the result that you're looking for. Okay. So we just done that with the first part. Now let's move on to finding this second part here, which is, oops sorry which is this one and then you will transpose the result to that okay so um, what is c times b c times b is i'm just going to write down the matrix um, one three five two four six with four negative two one zero two three so here is um, a 3 by 2 again, and this is a 2 by 3. So the result is going to be 3 by 3. 
Well, let's look at the result. 1 times 4 is 4. This one is 0, so here is 4. Negative 2. Um, negative 2 plus 4 is going to be 2. 1 plus 6 is going to be 7. For this one here, 3 times 4, 12. Negative 6 uh, plus 8. So 2, 3 plus 12. This is 15. 5, this is 20. 20 plus 0. Next, um, negative 10 plus 12 is 2. 5 plus 18. This is 23. So that is the result of CB but you're looking to find CB transpose. Therefore, CB transpose, uh, well, you just need to take this first row and let it be the first column. So here we have 4, 2, 7, 12, 2, 15, 22, 23. And of course, you can see clearly that the result here um, is similar to this one okay and um, next you can do what you are, you are supposed to do which is to find the result of of this whole operation here so therefore B transpose C transpose minus C B transpose is going to be a zero matrix right because you get the same result right there so it's going to be zero 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 so this is a three by three zero matrix you can also write it in terms of zero three by three by three matrix okay now if you have the knowledge of the property of transpose of matrix well we know that if um you have matrix a b transpose and you want to consider taking out the bracket then uh, what happened is it's going to uh, you, you need to switch the position of matrix a and b so the result is going to be b transpose a transpose and um, you can actually see that for, for this one here like I said just now, if you want to take out the bracket, then the part here is going to be B transpose, C transpose, which is similar to this part. And you should be able to tell exactly uh, the result is just going to be a zero matrix without really having to go through all this um, process here. So this is quite a long process. But like I said earlier just now, if you know the property of transpose of a matrix, uh, you'll be able to get the result pretty quickly you should be able to know or you should be able to determine that the result here is going to be zero okay uh, right uh, here are another several questions that you can try on your own but uh, in this video I'm, I think I'm just going to focus on uh, showing the solution for this question here so we have uh, this form of matrix equation and you are asked to find the values of x y and z okay so that is what we're going to do mm, okay so let me just try and uh, write that matrix equation it looks like this so here we have four x y z negative one is equal to 2 y z negative x and 1 plus 2 4 x 5 negative x okay so what I can do is I can add up these two matrices together so the result is going to look like this it's going to be um, 2y plus um, 8 yeah and then for this position here it's going to be 2z plus 2x which can be written as this 
z plus x maybe it will be easier to write in this form next for this one it will be 2 5 minus x okay and for the other last position here you're going to have um, 2 1 minus x okay so so here is 2 plus negative 2x and you can factor 2 out so you get 1 minus x yes and on this side here we can get 4x for y for z negative 4 okay so i think uh the easiest part that you can solve straight away is this one you can get the value of x straight away because then you can see that this is the same position as this one so therefore you can come up with uh, therefore 1 negative x must be equal to negative 4 because this is at the same position yes mm. so 1 minus x is equal to negative 2 negative x is negative 3 therefore x is equal to 3 so that is uh, the first solution that you can get x is equal to 3 okay uh, the next part which I think is easier uh, to be solved is um, this part since we already know what x is you can just substitute x into this part and you'll be able to find the unknown z here okay so that's what we're going to do we have 2 5 minus 3 because our x here is equal to 3 must be equal to 4 for z so 5 minus 3 is 2 so 4 is equal to 4z therefore z must be equal to 1 okay so that part is um, soft um, next what we can do is we can focus on solving perhaps um, this one here you can see um, we need to find what is y but we already know what x is so we can just substitute the value of x into this position therefore we have uh, 4x is equal to 2y plus 8 what is x x is 3 therefore here becomes 12 yes is equal to 2y plus 8 2y is 12 minus 8 is 4 y is equal to 2 and so um, everything is solved we have managed to get the values for x y and z okay right now in this page here there are again several questions that you can try on your own but uh, in this video i think i'm just going to pick one question and demonstrate to you guys on how you can uh, obtain the solution of it well uh, let's look at question six here we have a matrix uh, this is a 2 by 2 matrix and you are asked to find what is the result of this process where you add up two matrices, matrix A with the transpose of that matrix. So that's um, the first question. And then you are asked to determine whether the result that you got here, okay, whether A plus a transpose is symmetric now if you want to prove whether a matrix is symmetric um, you need to be able to show that uh, the result okay let's say uh, B is a matrix uh, and you want to show whether B is symmetric or not okay is B symmetric so what you need to do is you need to to be able to demonstrate that uh, when you find the result of B transpose, the result here is equal to B. So that is uh, the condition um, that you have to fulfill in order to say that the given matrix is symmetric. So in this question, what you need to do is you need to find A plus A transpose and you have to transpose it. Okay, You can think of it as matrix B, the whole thing here as matrix B. So how do you find or how you do you determine whether this is symmetric or not? And again, what you need to do is you need to find a B transpose. So B transpose is just the whole thing here and you transpose it, okay? Right, without further ado, let's, let us try and work it out. 
Well, here we have matrix A. So A is given as, um, as a 2 by 2 matrix. Here we have 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And uh, for the first question, you have to find the result of A plus A transpose. And this is quite easy. I'm just going to write down what is A. 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And A transpose is basically you're going to turn the first row that you got here into the first column. So here we have 1 and 2. And the second row here into the second column. So we have 3 and negative 2. And we're just going to add them up according to the position. 1 with 1. So the result is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so how can we show that the matrix is symmetric? Um, as I have said earlier, you, you can think of the whole thing. You can simplify the whole thing by giving a simple name. For example, you can call this whole thing as B. So uh, you need to find what is B transpose. And B transpose is just um, A plus A T transpose really and what is a plus a t a plus a t is given by this result here so i'm just going to um to consider that and i'm going to transpose the matrix straight away so here i'm just going to uh, consider this first row into the first column so it becomes two and five and the uh, second row here becomes the second column so 5 and negative 4 and clearly you can see that the result we have here is similar to this one okay so therefore this is actually the same thing as um, a plus a transpose which is equal to b and we are able to prove it okay we are able to prove that by transposing the result here we get back um, the same result as B matrix. So therefore, oops, therefore, uh, A plus A transpose is symmetric. Okay, uh, I think that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.